Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jason from the Brass Brigade. Hey, happy freaky fucking Friday. So check it out. I'm so stoked, right? I tried doing this video on the Barack Blades BRB 3V2 on Tuesday. Uh, I ordered this about a week and a half ago from Jan Oli Barak. He's the maker slash designer of this knife. Um, he shipped it from Germany and it only took about, I want to say just under a week to get to me. That's very fast from being shipped that far. Um, love this knife. Been trying to get a hold of one of these for the last couple months, but every time he puts a couple on Instagram, they sell out like literally within minutes. Um, just love this knife. Um, it has a M390 blade seal. It has kind of like a beveled hollow grind. So it's not like he basically takes out material, takes out material until he achieves the, you know, the grind he wants, but you can see the grind lines, the bevels, they're kind of overlap each other. Look at that nice polished edge. So nice, right? Um, yeah, love this knife. Love everything about it. Um, you know, very comfortable. Uh, it's actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Right? Like I kind of bought this knife just for the cool factor and how sweet it looks. Um, and it actually surprised me when I got this in hand and felt how comfortable it actually is. So that was surprising. I was expecting it to be not as comfortable as it is. So anyways, real quick, Jan Oli Blarock, he's, he's 29 years old, right? This dude's from Germany and he's like, uh, you know, like a machinist guy, right? And, um, he kept thinking about like knives and how cool it would be to sort of design his own. So I guess what he did is he did similar to like what I do. He started watching a bunch of videos on knife making and stuff like that. Then he played around on his computer, right? Came up with the design. And then he had a friend who was like a manufacturer dude. And he asked his friend, hey, can I borrow your shit so I can try to make, you know, a small run of knives? Dude said yes. Two years later, here we are. How fucking cool is that? This dude taught himself. So right there, you know that cool factor is on the high end, right? Um, so anyways, yeah, let's do this. At the Brass Gate, I have a 40 possible point scoring system. You can get 10 possible points in each category. Um, so thing cost me like $530 or $40 shipped from Germany, right? Uh, the knife comes in that bag. Also in that bag is your little, you know, Certificate of Authenticity, right? Tells you everything you need to know about the knife. Go ahead and screenshot this right now. Um, again, yeah, it was like 530, 540 shipped, right? The knife total length is, I think it was this one. It's like seven and a half inches long. The blade is three and a quarter inches long with three inches of cutting area. The blade is approximately an inch and one quarter wide at its thickest point or widest point. How thick is it? I don't know. It's about that fucking thick. Who gives a shit? You either like it or you don't. I've never not bought a knife, right? That I looked at and I liked and went, what's the blade stock thickness, right? No, like really. Now I've wondered after I bought the knife, but I never was like, like when I bought this the other day, right? I didn't go on the specs and was like, but what's the blade stock thickness? Oh, it's not, uh, it's a little thinner than I thought. Mm, I'm gonna have to pass. Never, not once ever has that ever even been a thing. That's why I don't break out the calipers on my reviews, right? That would be more of like a close look, right? Uh, if that's something you guys want me to do, uh, let me know and I will, I'll do that, right? If you want me to do a disassembly of a certain knife, let me know and I will do that. But for reviews, I just feel like, you know what I mean? Reviews are to see if, you're interested in that product if it's something you would actually want to buy and then you know after you watch the review then you start looking up the specs and all that shit i'm just doing my my opinion and my review of the knives right if that makes sense so anyways comfort carry for the blarock blades brb 3v2 that's a lot to say so i thought it was going to get a lower score than it did i thought it was going to get like a six or a seven it ain't this thing, I'm going to give it a solid eight. And when I say solid eight, it doesn't even come close to a seven. Um, you know, it's not, it's, you know, it's not going to be as comfortable as say something like the Ivan Braganets, this deal right here. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just not. However, for how wicked sick this thing looks, dude, it's pretty comfortable. And my hand locks in there really nice. Sort of like it just my finger just fits perfect in that front right there. Bing, bing. 
And when I squeeze, I can feel it like lock in and it feels really good. I don't get anything from the pocket clip, right? The pocket clip kind of just falls right there and doesn't bug me whatsoever. Um, yeah. Another thing about the pocket clip, it's a, the pocket clip I feel like maybe could have been a smidge longer or had a little bit more ramp. It does work okay, but for some pants, it is a little bit harder to get over the seam. But, you know, it's it's not as bad as you would think it would be. So, Comfort Carry, I'm going to give this thing a solid 8. Build Finish. So, again, this thing, you know, runs on ceramic bearings, right? Harden Lock Bar, Insert, Over Travel, right? Uh, looks like it has a ceramic um, detent ball. Um, really like the way the relief cuts have that milling pattern on them that matches the uh pocket clip like how all the edges are chamfered really nice um has a uh, captive pivot right um super cool again it's like a hollow beveled grind so it's basically like layers and layers and layers taking out to achieve that grind right um what else all titanium construction except for the hardware is steel um, yeah, I mean, build finish is great. This thing is perfectly centered, right? Um, yeah, no complaints on build finish. Again, like maybe the pocket clip. And again, I don't want to give it a bad mark because, oh, I think it's too short, right? That would be me judging how the pocket clip works based on how it looks. And I don't like to do that. And I already told you, I feel like if it was a little longer and maybe had a little bit more ramp going in, it would be a little bit more function friendly. Therefore, that being said, I'm gonna give it a nine because other than that pocket clip, everything about this knife is dialed, like dialed. No blade play, left, right, up, down, you know, north, south, east, west. Um, yeah, you even got your sweet little butt meat hole if you want to throw some fruit cakes in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a nine for build finish. It's fucking solid as shit. Price value? I hope you already know what this is. That's a 10, and we don't even need to talk about that. This is a fucking handmade knife from Germany. This is not a production knife, right? This is handmade by my boy Jan Oli, right? Um, yeah, five... 30, 40, whatever the shit it was, shipped from Germany for a full custom? Uh, yeah, price value, that's a 10. Because, let's see. Well, look at this. Production knife, right? Not handmade by one dude, you know? Uh, if you get this on the drop, I think it's like 380. But if you don't get it on the drop, you're looking at like 5 to 550, right? For a production knife. This is less than that is on the secondary for a full custom. So price value, it for sure is a 10. Um, what else? Cool factor? <laughs> I hope you already know. I mean, it's a 10. So pretty much knives, like when, I, when I'm talking about a knife and reviewing it, if I'm talking about how it was something I was trying to get a hold of for a while and finally got one or found it on the secondary market, most likely that's a 10 right? Because it was cool enough for me to search for months to get, right? Obviously, I thought it was cool because I wouldn't have searched as long and as hard as I did for. I looked on the secondary for these. I would always check his um, Instagram like probably once a day for the last couple months until finally, abracadabra, motherfucker, I was at the right place at the right time and got a badass knife. So cool factor, 10. So this knife gets a total score of 37. So at the Brass Brigade, anything above a 30, I recommend. Anything above a 35, I highly recommend. And this right here, this Barack Blades BRB3 V2, um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Like if this guy drops one of these, um, reach out to him, DM him. If you're serious about buying it, you know, he will, um, save it for you. At least he did for me. Um, and I see him doing that for anyone. He seems like a pretty cool guy. Unlike some places that, you know, after you spend thousands of dollars at their store, they won't hold one $400 knife for you. Um, anyways, yeah, 37, highly recommend this knife. Um, absolutely give this dude a follow again it's barack blades you can find him on instagram there will be a link in his description um absolutely awesome fucking sick knife perfect for the halloween fucking you know 
the Halloween season, right? Anyways, guys, have a great day. Stay safe, shoot straight, and until the next one, yeah!